to my channel and if you're new what up so you guys this is going to kind of be a two for one video i'm going to be going over the new dove limited edition holiday treats body care as well as all of my christmas hand soaps that i got from bath and body works as well as their lip care sale because i feel like i got some really good things i usually don't show a lot of like hand soap hauls all in a haul video by itself i like to do like a collective haul because i know y'all mostly care about the body care but i want to show my items because these are like christmas holiday items that i really really like and i feel like will get me in the holiday season so i wanted to share it with you guys so yeah, I'm going to give y'all my review and thoughts on the Dove Holiday Body Care and then the soaps and then the lip care. So if that is something that you guys are interested in, then just keep on watching. Okay, let me put these soaps down for a second so we can talk about this body care. Now, let me just preface this video by saying when it came to this Dove Holiday line, yes, I was intrigued, but I wasn't really too excited and I didn't have my hopes super high because first of all, let's just get this out of the way okay dove is not a gourmand brand okay dove does not do gourmand scents okay like let's leave that to tree hut let's leave that even to native like those are brands where i expect to get a little bit of a variety with gourmand scents fruity scents and you know everything in between because those brands have done it before dove is not really a brand that i'm like Hmm, I want a gourmand, you know, body wash, so I'm gonna go get it from Dove. Or I want a gourmand bar soap, I'm gonna go get it from Dove. Dove doesn't do like treats, sweet treats. So I kept that in mind before I even purchased these things so that my expectations were like right here. So that in case I was disappointed, it wasn't a big deal. And disappointed I am. Let me just go ahead and say that. Disappointed I am. These scents are not the bee's knees. These are not holiday treats in my opinion these are going to be just like novelty items to have and use during the holiday season and then get rid of them okay these are not backup worthy these are not buy a ton worthy none of that okay and i know y'all were like damn this review is negative already but y'all know i gotta keep it real so let's start off with the one that everybody was the most excited for this is sugar cookie and i did get the body wash and the scrub this does not smell like sugar cookie. This smells like a soapy body wash. And like, I don't know, like uncooked dough. Like, it smells like body wash, like soapy body wash and uncooked sugar cookie dough. There's nothing sweet. There's nothing decadent. There's nothing gourmand about this. And it actually says, the scent notes is heartwarming vanilla nuttiness. Um yeah no there's nothing warm about this there's nothing about this that screams holiday sweet treat at all it's definitely not giving whatever they thought this was supposed to have gave at all i mean the packaging is definitely cute if you were to not know anything about this haven't seen any youtube videos any tiktok videos anything on this line and you were walking in walmart and you just so happened to see a little display with this on it you would rush to go and get it because you're like oh it's intriguing the packaging is nice and everything but again like i said with my thought process i'm like dove doesn't do gourmand so i just was not expecting it to be like a christmas cookie shower gel or a joy sugar snickerdoodle shower gel from bath and body Works and that it is not so and then the scrub is no better and i wonder how abrasive these scrubs are because i haven't actually tried out these products in the shower but it doesn't actually say you know like how abrasive the scrubs are usually dove says that their scrubs are mild moderate um but this one doesn't say at all and even the scrub the scrub smells exactly like the body wash it is very like soapy uncooked sugar cookie dough not appealing at all so that's a bust that's a fail okay let's move on to probably the next most exciting one i think which was the peppermint bark so i did get that body wash and that scrub so i know a lot of people were kind of wanting to try this one out so peppermint is a little bit easier to do so i feel like dove has done a peppermint body care before or maybe not maybe i'm thinking of a uh, soft soap so I don't know, but peppermint is a little bit easier done. So this one says, invigorate your senses with the scent of fresh peppermint candy blended with rich, creamy chocolate. So obviously peppermint and chocolate. Could they get this wrong? This one actually smells like what it says, okay? This one actually does smell like a peppermint bark, peppermint patty, York. 
those little mints that you get from Olive Garden. This actually smells like that. It smells like peppermint and hot chocolate in a body wash form. So this one I cannot be mad at. I wonder how soothing that peppermint is going to be in the shower because sometimes products that have like peppermint in it give off a cooling sensation. So I'm wondering if this is going to give that in the shower. But this one is actually done right. This is a holiday scent. This kind of gets me in the mindset of the holidays, especially because I did a um, peppermint sugar cookie type routine in the shower so i feel like this one would definitely be a great addition to that if you needed like a peppermint chocolate body wash and then the actual scrub again it doesn't have like what kind of scrub this is or how abrasive it is but the scrub smells like that as well it's a little bit lighter in the scrub but i can still smell this and tell what it is like the chocolate isn't really really heavy in the scrub but i can like i said smell this and say like oh that's kind of like a peppermint sugar cookie smell that's kind of like a peppermint a York peppermint patty type of smell. So it's definitely giving that. So the peppermint bark gets a thumbs up. With this one, they actually put forth effort and they got it right. Okay, so the last one that I got is the cinnamon pumpkin pie. And I got this one just in the body wash. I did not need a scrub in this because I already have a pumpkin spice latte scrub from Tree Hut that I'm trying to go through. So I just didn't feel the need to get this one in a scrub. Um, for this one, it says sweet cinnamon spice mixed with buttery pumpkin notes. So again, could they get this one wrong? Not really. This one definitely does smell like a cinnamon bakery treat. But again, it has that like after smell of like a soap. It has that distinctive soapy smell, just like what you get in the sugar cookie. And just like what you get with Dove body washes in general. It has that soapy smell in the background. So I feel like it could have been heavier on the gourmand, heavier on the pumpkin spice, um, on the pie note. But again, this is Dove we're talking about. This is a brand that does not do gourmand bakery scents. So I feel like they made a quick little cash grab with these holiday items, you know, and they definitely got people's coins. They got mine, but they definitely got a lot of our coins and the scents are just you know, they're just okay. This one, it does smell like a cinnamon pumpkin pie. This one, it does smell like, you know, peppermint bark. This one, not at all. Does not smell like sugar cookie whatsoever in my opinion. So again, like I said, these will just be novelty items to use during the holidays all the way through until Christmas and the end of the year. And then after that, that's it. I'm done with them. Would not repurchase any of these, if I'm being honest, I would not repurchase any of these. I do not need to stock up on any of these. I'm happy with what I got and that's going to be it with what I got. So that is my review. Now we can get into the company that does do a lot of gourmand scents right and that is Bath & Body Works, okay? So let me quickly go over my soaps because like I said, these are my Christmas soaps and I realized I didn't have a lot of Christmas themed soaps. I had a lot of fall soaps but not like Christmas and winter. So the first one I got is of course, Vanilla Bean Noel. All of these are gentle foaming, by the way. So I did get Vanilla Bean Noel, super happy to have this one. Um, in the hand soap, Vanilla Bean Noel is definitely more sugar cookie, caramel heavy. It does not have a musk note at all. So it says fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel and sugar cookies. So no musk in sight. Um, and then I got a Winterberry Ice. I love this color of the packaging. This is so pretty, okay? It's not giving winter necessarily. I mean, it has a couple of snowflakes on it, but it's not giving winter necessarily, but the color of it, gorgeous. And this one is Ice Cherries, Juicy Orange, and Snowy Lime. And I smell this, and this smells like a winter fruit punch, okay? It smells so good with the cherries and the lime. This might actually need to be in body care. This is good. This... It's like winterberry wonder but better like add lime and cherries to winterberry wonder and that's winterberry ice so i might need more of that okay and then this oh my god this is my favorite packaging this is ice cinnamon rolls the packaging on this particular line i love it because you actually have like the little gingerbread house the little gingerbread people and the color of this bottle and the iridescence is just so nice i absolutely love this so this one is ice cinnamon rolls and it is warm cinnamon rolls fresh orange and sugar glaze y'all this smells amazing it smells legitimately like the pillsbury cinnamon rolls with the orange icing that is exactly what this smells like you really get that orange glaze in here with like a bready doughy note so good super happy to have that one and here is another one from 
that packaging design. This one is cute. This is Crushed Candy Cane. So it has the snowman and then it has the little candy cane. This one has a bow on it. Cute, cute. I love it. And then I love Crushed Candy Cane. I really like this one in the candle as well. So it's a little bit different than Twisted Peppermint. This one is a little bit more sweet. So it's crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaves. This one doesn't have any balsam or fur or anything like that in it. So it's just a little bit more of a sweet peppermint scent, but still heavy on the peppermint. So good. Really enjoy that one. Um, and then also in this bag, I did have a um redemption for a reward a redemption for a reward and i got cozy vanilla bourbon in the shower gel because i really wanted this scent in the shower gel like i told y'all um this reminds me of fireside flurries i really do feel like it's a repackaging of fireside flurries despite what the scent notes say and a lot of people agree with me on that and i'm super happy to have it back um another thing in this bag that kind of goes with the soaps this is for my kids so this is actually the little um soap holder and it makes a noise so when you put the soap in here there's a button on the bottom so when you go to pump this down it like plays a song and that's about how long you should be washing your hands for so i got it for my kids because i thought it was super cute and it's going to encourage them to actually wash their hands for the allotted amount of time a little gingerbread on the back I think this is so cute. I really wanted one for myself, but I know how long to wash my hands for. So I didn't get it. Um, there's My lip care is in this bag, but I'll go over that at the end. So I have more soaps. Okay, strawberry snowflakes. Duh, had to get it. I love the color pink on this one. Again, the packaging is not really screaming winter to me. I mean, like I said, it got the snowflakes on it, but it doesn't scream winter, but I love the color. The color definitely fits for strawberry snowflakes. Okay, and then I did get gingerbread bakery. I like the color and the packaging on this one with the little gingerbread man. So this one is gingerbread cookies, brown sugar icing, and cinnamon spice. And I did smell this one in store. It is heavy on that cinnamon gingerbready spice type of scent note. Um, but you do get a little bit of icing, like smidge of sweet icing sweet creaminess so i like that one. Oh, i was really interested in this one coconut angel cake the packaging they could have did better they could have definitely put like an actual coconut cake or something on it but instead they have a little mouse on there but anyway coconut angel cake is fluffy coconut angel food cake and vanilla sugar i was really excited about this one and it's not my favorite it's very artificial. I'm hoping that it's not artificial like that on my hands because I feel like this could have been a really great scent. You definitely get that like creamy lactonic coconut smell. You definitely get a cakiness, but there is something artificial in it and it's throwing me off. So that one could have been done better. Um, and then I got a marshmallow fireside. I love the packaging on this one. Definitely wanted to put this in my kids bathroom for the black, um, but I don't know. I might keep that one for myself. Okay, and then I got pink sparkling spritz. I need to go back and get more of this. Love the packaging. Love that pink color. This is definitely going either in my bathroom or in the kitchen. This one is bubbly ginger ale, pink sugar, and raspberry fizz. Y'all, when I tell y'all this smells so good, you can definitely smell that ginger ale, that bubbliness, that effervescence. It's a little sour, uh, sour but not in a bad way. It's like tart, sour, like a drink, like an actual drink. I guess from the raspberry so good y'all that one is amazing i need more of that one okay and then i got a fresh sparkling snow because i love this scent i love it in the body care as well in the hand soap it has less fragrance notes this one is icy melon holiday pear and falling snow fresh sparkling snow to me smells like fruit punch like winter fruit punch and in the hand soap this year it has a lot more melon so i can smell um a lot more of that melon note but it's still really really good Okay, and then I got Coconut Mint Drop. I do like this hand soap, but I don't like this scent in the body care. But um, this is White Coconut, Ice, Peppermint, and Winter Musk. So this is definitely a take on a coconut scent. Like this is definitely like a winter coconut because of the mintiness of it. So like I said, I like this in the hand soap. It definitely makes me feel like clean and refreshed, but I don't like it in body care. Okay, and then the last hand soap I got was, of course, Classic Winter Candy Apple. I love Winter Candy Apple in body care hand soap in all forms, actually. I really enjoy Winter Candy Apple, and it is Red Apples, Winter Rose Petals, and Candy Orange. The hand soap has different scent notes than the actual body care, but it is the Winter Candy Apple that we have all come to know and love. Absolutely love it. It smells artificial. 
um, like an artificial candy apple, like a perfumey candy apple. Very heavy on the rose. Um, I think it has some spice in it and the body care is heavy on the rose, heavy on the spice. It's not a candy candy apple. It's a perfumey candy apple, okay? So now we can go over the body care. First of all, do not sleep on Bath & Body Works lip products because in my last video, which was my November project, Use It Up, I was wearing this lip gloss and I actually got so many compliments on this lip gloss yesterday. So this is the CL Bigelow Mentha Shimmer Lip Tint in Bare Mint. And as you guys can see, it's like a nude brownish pink color and it has a ton of shimmer in it. I had on just this gloss and a lip, a brown lip liner fire it was absolute perfection and it gives that nice minty cooling sensation to your lips so it freshens your breath it makes your lips feel nice and cool um during the winter time i love these so i'm probably gonna end up stocking up on these i think this is like my third one of these that i have so happy to have another one and i will be using it it is so good i'm probably gonna keep that one in my car or in my bags that i carry around with me because that one is really good. And then I got another one. So this is again, the CL Bigelow Mentha Shimmer Lip Tint in Pearl Mint. And this one is more of a pinky color with a nice pinky pearl to it, like an icy pinky pearl. So super pretty. I'm pretty sure this one looks just as good on the lips as the other one, but this one is still sealed. I haven't opened this one yet, so I will eventually. Okay, and then the last things I got were the lip scrubs because y'all know I rave about these lip scrubs from Bath & Body Works ever since I purchased one the first time. I have not been able to go back. I just love the formula of their lip scrubs. The one I'm using in vanilla right now is a little bit different than the ones that I've previously used. Um, that one has a little bit more of an oily texture in my opinion when you go to rinse it off and then it also doesn't have a smell the other ones had a smell so i had champagne toast that one smelled amazing it was really really exfoliating um and it was just so good so like i said now i'm using the vanilla one but i did pick up twisted peppermint can't wait to try this one on the lips because i know it's going to have that like pepperminty tingly feeling and then i got winter candy apple again i know this one probably is going to smell amazing so can't wait to use that one and then i got strawberry which again i know this one is going to be really really nice so but that is it, you guys. That is it for my little two-in-one video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on the Dove Body Care. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my holiday hand soaps that I got. And it gets you inspired to bring out more of your Christmassy, winter-themed type items. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my lip care products. And yeah, just enjoy the video in general. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you enjoyed about the video. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. You should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Ferguson Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.